IBM System Z is a family name used by IBM for all of its mainframe computers. In 2000, IBM renamed the existing System 390 to IBM E Server Z series with the E depicted in IBM's red trademarked symbol, but because no specific machine names were changed for System 390, the Z series in common use refers only to the Z900 and Z990 generations of mainframes. In April 2006, with another generation of products, the official family was changed to IBM System Z, which now includes both older IBM E Server Z series, the IBM System Z9 models, the IBM System Z10 models, and the newer IBM Z Enterprise. The Z series, System Z and Z Enterprise families were named for their availability a Euro Z stands for zero downtime. The systems are built with spare components capable of hot failovers to ensure continuous operations. The System Z family maintains full backward compatibility. In effect, current systems are the direct, lineal descendants of System 360, announced in 1964, and the System 370 from the 1970s. Many applications written for these systems can still run unmodified on the newest System Z over five decades later. IBM System Z13, first system able to process 2.5 billion transactions per day, IBM's first mainframe capable of real-time encrypting all transactions at scale, first mainframe system with embedded analytics providing real-time transaction insights. IBM Z Enterprise System the IBM Z Enterprise System, announced in July 2010, with the Z196 model, is designed to offer both mainframe and distributed server technologies in an integrated system. The Z Enterprise System consists of three components. First is a System Z Server. Second is the IBM Z Enterprise Blade Center extension. Last is the Management Layer, IBM Z Enterprise Unified Resource Manager which provides a single management view of Z Enterprise resources. The Z Enterprise is designed to extend mainframe capabilities a Euro management efficiency, dynamic resource allocation, serviceability a Euro to other systems and workloads running on AIX on POWER 7, and Microsoft Windows or Linux on x86. The Z Enterprise Blade Center extension is an infrastructure component that hosts both general purpose blade servers and appliance like workload optimizers, which can all be managed as if they were a single mainframe. The ZBX supports a private high speed internal network that connects it to the central processing complex, which reduces the need for networking hardware and provides inherently high security. The IBM Z Enterprise Unified Resource Manager integrates the System Z and ZBX resources as a single virtualized system and provides unified and integrated management across the Z Enterprise system. It can identify system bottlenecks or failures among disparate systems and if a failure occurs it can dynamically reallocate system resources to prevent or reduce application problems. The Unified Resource Manager provides energy monitoring and management, resource management, increased security, virtual networking, and information management from a single user interface. Highlights of the original Z Enterprise Z196 include, Blade Center Extension and Unified Resource Manager, up to 80 central processors, 60% higher capacity than the Z10, twice the memory capacity, 5.2 GHz quad-core chips, the newest Z Enterprise, the EC12, was announced in August 2012 and included, up to 101 central processors, 50% higher capacity than the Z196, transactional execution, 5.5 GHz hex core chips, Flash Express a Euro integrated SSDs which improve paging and certain other I.O. performance, on April 8, 2014. In honor of the 50th anniversary of the System 360 mainframe, IBM announced the release of its first converged infrastructure solution based on mainframe technology. Dubbed the IBM Enterprise Cloud System, this new offering combines IBM mainframe hardware, software, and storage into a single system and is designed to compete with competitive offerings from VCE, HP, and Oracle. According to IBM, it is the most scalable Linux server available with support for up to 6,000 virtual machines in a single footprint. 
In June 2014, IBM announced it had shipped its first enterprise cloud system to Vicenza, a UK-based managed service provider. IBM System Z10 The IBM System Z10 servers support more memory than previous generation systems and can have up to 64 central processors per frame. The full-speed Z10 processor's uniprocessor performance is up to 62% faster than that of the Z9 server, according to IBM's Z10 announcement. New capabilities for System Z10 servers, 50% more performance and 70% more usable capacity. The new 4.4 GHz processor was designed to address CPU intensive workloads and support large scale server consolidation on the mainframe. Just in time capacity and management A Euro monitoring of multiple systems based on capacity provisioning and workload manager definitions. When the defined conditions are met, ZOS can suggest capacity changes for manual activation from a ZOS console or the system can add or remove temporary capacity automatically and without operator intervention. IBM System Z9 In July 2005, IBM announced a new family of servers a Euro the System Z9 family a Euro with the IBM System Z9 Enterprise class and the IBM System Z9 Business class servers. The System Z9 servers offered more flexibility on the enterprise class servers in customizing and sizing the capacity of the general purposes processors that reside in the server. The Z9 EC servers offered four different subcapacity settings when run with eight or fewer general purpose processors. ZIIP engines. The ZIIP is designed so that a program can work with ZOS to have all or a portion of its service request block dispatched work directed to the ZIIP to help free up capacity on the general purpose processor which may make it available for use by other workloads running on the server. MIDAW. The modified indirect data address word facility offers an alternative facility for a channel program to be constructed. It is designed to improve performance for native FICON applications that use extended format data sets by helping to improve channel utilization, reduce channel overhead, and improve I.O. response times. CP Assist for cryptographic functions is shipped on every CP and IFL processor in support of clear key encryption. CPACF was enhanced for System Z9 processors to include support of the Advanced Encryption Standard for 128-bit keys, Secure Hash Algorithm 256, CPACF offers DES, Triple DES and SHA-1. IBM Z Series Family The Z Series Family, which includes the Z900, Z800, Z990 and Z890, introduced IBM's newly designed 64-bit Z architecture to the mainframe world. The new servers provide more than four times the performance of previous models. In its 64-bit mode the new CPU is freed from the 31-bit addressing constraints of its predecessors. Major features of the e-server Z series family, based on Z architecture, as opposed to earlier ESA-390 used in S-390 systems yet emphasizing the backwards compatibility the ESA-390 applications are fully compatible with Z architecture, first Z series superscalar server a Euro A superscalar processor allows concurrent execution of instructions by adding additional resources onto the microprocessor to achieve more parallelism by creating multiple pipelines each working on its own set of instructions. Offers up to 32 central processors per frame, frames can be coupled in up to a 32-frame sysplex, with each frame physically separated up to 100 km, supports the ZOS, Linux on System Z, ZVM, ZVSE, and ZTPF operating systems, support of multiple I.O. channel subsystem a Euro, or multiple logical channel subsystem. The Z990 allows for support of up to 4 LCSS a Euro offering support for up to 4 times the previous 256 channel limit, support for ZAAP processors. These speciality processors allow IBM JVM processing cycles to be executed on the configured ZAAPS with no anticipated modifications to the Java application, S. This means that deployment and integration of new Java technology-based workloads can happen on the very same platform as heritage applications and core business databases in a highly cost-effective manner. 
Comparison to other servers, a direct comparison of System Z servers with other computing platforms is difficult. For example, System Z servers offload such functions as I.O. processing, cryptography, memory control, and various service functions to dedicated processors. These extra processors are in addition to the 141 cores per frame. System Z cores include extensive self-checking of results, and if an error is detected the server retries the instruction. If the instruction still fails, the server shuts down the failing processor and shifts workload, in flight, to a surviving spare processor. The IBM mainframe then calls home. An IBM service technician replaces the failed component with a replacement part. With System Z9 servers, the technician installs the new book and removes the old one without interruption to running applications. Similar design redundancies exist in memory, I.O., power, cooling, and other subsystems. All these features exist at the hardware and microcode level, without special application programming. The same concepts can extend to coupled frames separated by up to 100 km in a geographically dispersed parallel sysplex when ZOS is used. System Z servers are used by IBM customers for business critical installations in medium and large organizations which need very high availability, where scheduled and unscheduled downtime costs are high, and at traditional mainframe shops such as banks and insurance companies which already have mainframe applications at the center of their business processes. For such organizations which have to consider a very high price for system failures and service outages, System Z machines may provide a lower total cost of ownership than other platforms, especially when running a variety of business critical applications concurrently. Overall, mainframes like System Z are used in government, financial services, retail, manufacturing, and just about every other industry. List of models Z Enterprise System Z Systems Mainframe, Z System Z 13, introduced on January 13, 2015. Z Enterprise BC12, introduced on July 23, 2013, Z Enterprise EC12, introduced on August 28, 2012, Z Enterprise 114, introduced on July 6, 2011, Z Enterprise 196, introduced on July 22, 2010, System Z10 Mainframe, Z10 Business Class, introduced on October 21, 2008, Z10 Enterprise Class, Introduced on February 26, 2008, System Z9 mainframes, Z9 business class, successor to the Z890 and smallest Z990 models, Z9 enterprise class, introduced in 2005, initially as Z9-109, beginning the new System Z9 line, Z series mainframes, Z890, successor to the Z800 and smaller Z900 models. Z990, successor to larger Z900 models, Z800, entry level, less powerful variant of the Z900, Z900, for larger customers, older S390 IBM mainframe servers are not listed here since support for the last S390 compatible version of ZOS was dropped on March 31, 2007. See also, list of IBM products. Linux on System Z, ZAAP, ZIIP, peer-to-peer -peer remote copy, extended remote copy, LPAR, HIPAA socket, ESCON, FICON, IBM Parallel Sysplex, Hercules Emulator, ZVM, ZOS, Open Solaris for System Z, GamaFrame. References External links, IBM IT Infrastructure Web Page, IBM Destination Z. IBM Systems Mainframe Magazine, IBM Systems Z webpage, Z6 microprocessor The Follow On to Z9, by Charles F. Webb of IBM, IBM Archives, A Brief History of the IBM ES-9000, System-390 and Z Series.